Steve, Ida was one of the strongest storms on record to make landfall on Louisiana. Yeah, tying Laura, which happened last year. So following the strongest landfall on Louisiana last year, you have Ida uh, this year. I want to show you this pretty fascinating uh, satellite picture from yesterday. Right below me is the landfall in category, category 4 storm Ida. Up to the left of your screen, the raging wildfires in the Pacific Northwest. Two different types of extremes going on at once. As we continue to pump CO2 into the atmosphere, there's more heat in the atmosphere and our oceans. That translates directly to more energy to create extremes. Now, granted, it is wildfire season and it is peak hurricane season, but both of these directly influenced by a changing climate. We could also use rapid intensification to use this as an example. So rapid intensification, when a tropical cyclone increases its wind speed by 35 miles an hour in a 24 hour window. All four of the Category 5 landfalling hurricanes on the United States, three days prior to that Category 5 landfall, they were tropical storms. Ida, three days prior to its landfall yesterday, was a tropical storm. So rapid intensification is coming, becoming more frequent, so that means the likelihood of a rapidly intensifying hurricane to make landfall is becoming more frequent. Here's a list of storms that rapidly intensified within 24 hours of making landfall. Notice a trend here. The most recent four years from 2021, 2020, 2018, 2017, those storms happened in the last four years. Six of the names on this list happened within the last 20 years. 